big day here. Everybody's out. We're planting some grass. We are planting winter rye and clover and brome and timothy. And basically we're planting it on our hay field right now. We're gonna let Greg and Avery plant a little bit and then we're gonna check depth. Shay's out here helping me on the seed box, right Shay? Yeah. Way over there, there's the tractor way over there. What's it doing? It's planting grass seed. Look at it go. Look at it go. Are we gonna help? We're gonna help with the seed, aren't we? We're gonna help with the seed. going crazy. Yeah, she's going crazy. So this is what we're doing today. We're planting our pasture and then... Oops. We're planting our pasture and a couple hay fields and Avery's going for a heck of a tractor ride. And Shay's gonna help me with the seed tending. The butterflies. Oh, and there's butterflies. So, I don't know if you guys can see them, but the little peppery guys right there, the little white white seeds like that, that is the Timothy. And then in here there is, right there, come on, focus on this. Uh, right there next to my finger, there's a purple seed. That's clover. So, we have clover, rye, and Timothy in here. And I'm just looking to make sure that all the seeds are distributing the way they need to be distributing and that we have all the seeds that we're wanting out out this is a pretty good indication so there's clover rye and timothy mixed in and that's what we're looking for <laughs> hi tractor <laughs> so exciting <laughs> Give her a stop and a look, see, and a check over and see what's going on. I did a little changing on depth um, because things were just a hair bit too deep where it's wet. The ground is crazy, crazy, crazy wet. Um, so basically we're, we're trying to do something we maybe shouldn't be doing right now. But the way it's looking, it's not going to get any better. So I guess make hay while the sun shines or plant grass where the sun shines. Whatever way you want to look at it. But this is what we're doing today. Um, so I'll show you. So let's see if we'll focus. See if we'll focus. All right. So there's rye right there. And we're looking for Timothy. There's some right, right there. We're looking for him in the gap. And the gap, the gap should be closing. But because it's so wet, it's not wanting to close a whole heck of a lot. Uh, let's change passes. All right, so there we go. We can see what we want to see. So there's rye in there, the bigger seeds that you see. The bigger seeds that you see are rye. The smaller ones, the little flecky ones, are timothy. Let's see if we can find a clover in here somewhere. Oh, looking for the pink one. Looking for the pink one. Rye, Timothy, Clover. Where's the Clover? Oh, I see one. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on film, but I see it. So, yeah, it's a little bit deeper than what we want because, well, I think you could probably wring out this dirt and water would fall down out of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Planting this, and then tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to set up rotational grazing fences so that we're ready for when we can rotationally graze. So basically this is this is gonna be a lane. I'm gonna follow this tractor tire. Well, a little bit straighter. I'm gonna follow this tractor tire and then the girls are gonna be able to rotate down this lane around the corner um, over to this patch of trees over here so they can get into the shade. And then it's actually gonna make a square all the way around this 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 uh, this paddock. And uh, and they're gonna get to go out because I don't know if you can see them. They're ready. They've been ready. They want to go out. And we put them in the six wheeler, and Shay's got herself a soda. What do you think? What do you think? Are we planting some things? Are we planting some things? Billy. Oh. Are we planting some things? No. We 
are planted some things. Are we going to go on a six-wheeler ride? You ready, Skeddy? Yeah, we're ready, Skeddy, huh? Watch the river right there. Okay. She's going to go sit with her critters. She's got her dinosaur along. And careful. Sit down. She's got her dinosaur along, and she's got a feather. She's got... Are you gonna are you gonna take care of the seed? I'm gonna take care of the seed. Yeah. Ready, Skeddy? I don't know if we got burps. Whoa, that was a big burp. It was. Alright. Safe turned right in the tractor. Here we go. Slight adjustments because things were sort of getting plugged. Um, so yeah, we changed a little bit of depth um, and we unplugged some things. So now, even though Avery seems really upset, she's gonna come ride with me for a little while. And you're gonna like it too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go over here. Yep, we're gonna go right over here. But farming with the girls. Here we go. It's <laughs> it's not that easy. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an overcap of what we're doing. So, this is the, the grass seed hopper. It goes the whole length of this. The pink seed that's in here is the clover. And basically, you have to mix it by hand because uh, they don't have a separate box for it. But then this is the timothy seed underneath of it. And I'm basically just going to mix it in until I see clover and, and, and the timothy kind of all combined. Um, I guess you could say in a way I'm, it's like mixing for cooking. So that's what I'm doing. Um, Greg went up to the garage to go get more rye. And then in the rye, we also have these ones right here. These ones, no, nope, not that one. This one. So if you see the dark seeds in there that are kind of long and skinny, the dark seeds that are long and skinny like like this one here, that's brome. So everything in the back hopper right now, this big back hopper, is an annual. So it's all stuff that doesn't come back next year. Um, it doesn't come back uh, unless you reseed it or replant it that following year. Um, it's basically a harvestable thing and then you're done with it. Uh, this stuff, the Timothy and the clover are an, are perennials so they'll come back every year um and in fact this right here this this red clover that we have uh this red clover seed that we have that we're going to plant um this seed actually helps fix nitrogen in the soil uh, which is another thing that we really like to do not to mention the fact that if you cut it at the right stage it's actually got a higher protein value than alfalfa so that's what we like to do for our crops um as far as uh, hayseed goes, um, we just we like how it how it performs with our cows, and we like how how it grows in our lands. We are um, deficient in some nutrients in our soil, uh, so alfalfa isn't something that we can grow very well without amending the soil to the point where it gets to be almost too expensive to do. All right, so I have the red clover seeds mixed in with the timothy and this is about i mean i just i just go like this it's it's the guesstimation really um but basically until it looks good it's kind of how you do it or it's how we do it um and then i have to mix some more uh what is it brome yeah it's rye and rye and brome smooth, i have to mix some brome. i have to mix some more brome in here and it, like greg said it's smooth brome um so it's 
we actually been using a Folgers coffee can for our uh, measurements and just kind of been keeping it simple like that. Um, it's an easy way to measure and you know how much you put in last time and that's what we do. So the girls are in watching a movie and chilling. Um, Avery's not quite taking a nap, but she's watching a movie. Um, Greg's still planting. Uh, we're down to like five bags of rye and a half a bag of smooth brome. And then we just put our last bag of Timothy in uh, the front hopper with uh, uh, red clover. Um, it's been a busy day. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting tired. Uh, checking on the cows. Cora's close to calving soon, I hope. Um, but uh, yeah, things are things are going well. Uh, it is wet, but it's not not crazy crazy bad. There's a couple spots that oof da we're gonna be lucky to get anything in and hopefully Greg doesn't try to and get stuck because it's kind of not on the docket for today is to try to get a tractor out of a mud hole. Uh, but other than that, um, like I said, yeah, things are things are going really well. Uh, the, the seed is going through really well after we um, did that cleaning. Um, there was a couple pockets of some old seed or whatever that got stuck in the tubes. Um, I think that we tried to clean that out before or maybe we were just in too much of a hurry. So our bad for that and uh, we'll know for next time. It's all about the learning experience, guys. Um, but yeah, so what else can I say? We're planting. It's spring. And um, hopefully everything comes up really well. The next thing I'm going to try to get done is to get my perimeter fence set up for rotational grazing so that the cows can go out. Um, I'm hoping the, the very last week in May, early June, which means that we're gonna are gonna be feeding them for just a little while longer in the winter pen but for for their benefit um, and for the fields benefit that's the way it's just gonna have to be for right now um, it's been a wet year and uh, things are just getting you, you turn them out too soon when the ground isn't fit they're just gonna tear it up so to save on the land um, I'm just waiting just a little bit a little bit longer um, but that's, that's okay. Uh, they'll get their bellies full of green grass very shortly. But yeah. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I appreciate the comments. And uh, thanks for taking the time. Catch you later. Happy, happy.